welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pearl Joshua, and as usual, on this channel, I film about faith, lifestyle, productivity, and relationships. And once in a while, so I try to do updates on reviews, movies, and let's just have fun and everything. So on today's episode, <laughs> I'll be talking about a popular book. Probably it's not popular. I don't know, but it, one of my favorite books for the past four years or so. The Snacks Money Woman by Arese Ubu. Like this book is, I mean, it's an African. It's it's a book on an African girl's journey to financial freedom. Like it's a book that would help you. Although it's it's basically for a, the females, but even guys too can read it and also gain a lot. It's just about financial freedom, managing your financials and everything that finances and everything in between. So I just I read the book. I read the book like two or three times. And what made me do this video today? What made me think of doing this video today is because I just saw the premiere of the movie on YouTube. As usual, I love YouTube. And I was like, oh my god, when she was writing the book, she kept on saying, even on an, in, her, in her interview, she kept on saying that people were asking her that you need to turn this book into a movie. And I also thought of it because it's just like a typical storyline for a movie. And finally, 2020, they are already working on the movie productions and everything, although they're not sure when the release date will be, but I mean, I've seen the cast and I'm like, wow, the premiere was amazing, explosive, and I can't wait to actually benefit of the blessings of the movie, because I mean, it's one thing to read a book, it's another thing to also watch characters bring the role into life. And one of my favorite actresses, Osas Ajibade, she's like, she plays the the lead role which is Zuri in the book she plays the, the role and as she stars a bini girl she's beautiful she's I've seen her in movies and that kind of role just fits her particularly okay so before the movie comes out let me just whet your appetite let me tell you the lessons I learned from the movie I learned about probably like see a lot of lessons I'll just highlight the key ones I cannot go in detail I cannot explain the way I'll explain or review a novel but I'll explain the lessons I learned because this is a novel that brings wisdom and insight into your finances as a person as an African and as a lady as well so yes but my one lesson I learned is that you need to track your expenses so it's very funny in the, the lessons that some have been imbibing and there are some that she shook my table and I have to work on as well tracking your expenses is important I mean from the from the little things the minute things to the biggest of things no matter how much you have you need to check your expenses I don't mean okay probably you could go to the extreme by saying you have to be writing each thing you buy every single day or you could just budget like you could just know okay the things you bought <clears throat> not necessarily having to write everything down word for word but having to have an idea of the amount you spent per week per month every day and not go overboard i don't know if you understand so tracking your expenses is very important it will help you to know where you are overdoing overdoing yourself or where you are going low it helps you to know things that you should invest more in it helps you to know if you are not <laughs> which reminds me of something my friend said once he said Enjoy life, enjoy life, and I saw savings they finish because you just be like, after all, this life is not guaranteed. You spend, you spend, you finish spending, and then you're now broke. <laughs> so, yes, there has to be a balance. So, track your expenses. Another thing I learned is that conquer your money fears. One of the things that, and seriously, I have a lot of money fears, but God help us. There are a lot of things that you are scared about, that you are fearing about. Some people are scared of getting to that point where they don't have money to take care of their children getting to that point where they are out of job or do not have job or people have fears like getting to that point where they can't even survive each passing day so you need to get that address the fear what are, the, what are your money fears what are the things that you are scared about in your finances and you need to work on them begin to draw a plan on how to conquer them because i mean every single thing that you're fearing can be conquered if only you choose to and that thing is um the way she puts it the author said slay your debts like debt and i was like mm, that's true if you don't even have to before you slay your debt she determined that okay i don't want to owe 
but I sometimes to let the honest answer, so sometimes you probably are expecting something and that's supposed to be for a particular thing and then it's the matter is already fast arising and you have to just borrow from somebody to fix it. But you need to know that you need to be sure that the debt you are the debt you are getting is for good purposes. Let's be for the right reasons. Don't don't my borrow like like the lady Zuri and uh, the, the debt she was owing, as in I mean debt on on rent, debt on this, and then even with the fast rising debt she had, people were still, her friend was still bringing, not really her friend, someone that she just knew was still bringing her shrimp for wedding, and she was a lot of money, like thousands of naira. For that, that kind of thing, you just said, person, I'm not, I don't want, because people just attach a lot of sentiment to things that are not really important. So whatever it is that is not important to me, my dear, just, delete it and focus on the real thing and if you have any reasons to borrow money let's be uh, be sure that you have a means of paying back without it cutting your um cutting your finances short i don't know if you understand also build an emergency fund i learned that it's very important very necessary that you have an emergency fund and when i say emergency fund it does not mean that every single need that arises you say emergency you go and withdraw it emergency fund meaning that you, you have a limit you have a list of things that can be an emergency and those will be the only reasons why you withdraw the money also articulate your spending articulate your budget write out your budget this is what i am earning this is what is going to go out of me this is what i am saving this is what i'm investing be sure to, to articulate every single thing get and get okay, probably i'll do another video on apps that you can use to track your spending and apps that you can use to save apps that you can use to invest if you want a video on that please let me know in the comment section below so you need to articulate if you cannot put it into writing do it with apps do it online do it with softwares ensure that every single detail about your expenses are accounted for also organize your money it also goes side by side with the other one organize your money no no budget for um emergency not like emergency probably um things that just arise suddenly probably all of a sudden your mom is sick or all of a sudden you have to make a, a travel or all of a sudden you have to do something also organize your money that okay this one is for feeding this one is for rent this one is for parents this one is for family and this one is for probably support so you have somebody that all of a sudden this money needs your help or all of a sudden you need to do something organize your spending so that you don't get everything mixed up and keep on withdrawing thinking that you have money meanwhile like the money remaining is for rent or medicals also if you are married if you are a single if you are a daughter you need to to discuss family finances we are married you need to sit it can be a very tedious topic to talk about but if you are sharing bills with somebody you need to sit down and discuss that okay who is going to undo this who is going to undo that who is going to fix this who is going to and let everybody have the understanding about it also in investing you need to address your risk profile everybody saying invest 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 but you need to know what you are investing into these days especially this year there are a lot of scammers out there. There are a lot of people that will get your money and they'll tell you um, invest 1,000, get 100,000 in 10 days. You need to be very sure that what you're investing in is accurate, is correct, is legit, is legal. And I know a lot of people in Nigeria, even me, don't have invest investor or invest advisor or invest manager or something like that. But it's, it's according to her and the book, I actually see reasons with that. It's important that you have an invest investment advisor that will help you and help you to assess each investment and let you know if it's worth your time, if it's worth your money and everything. And also to help you assess the risk because every investment, every investment, every investment involves risk. Every investment involves risk and but you need to know which risk you can you can account for. You need to know which risk you can go with, which risk you are comfortable with and everything. And also, I've told you invest, save, very important to save. And I don't mean savings that you dip your hand into it next day and remove. No, it's small. With saving this colo or saving box, and then one day you just break it and move. I use a broom and I'm talking to myself. I use broom and remove the money every single day, and then you say I save. No, you need to save for a long time goal and everything. So, these are the few lessons I learned. 
listening to the reading sorry reading the book the smart money woman by rs ubu and trust me see i'm smiling the book is an amazing book amazing book sisters brothers family members just you need to get the book i think you can download it um you can download it you can just browse about it and read and also await the premiere apparently i'll do a review when the movie comes out about the cast about the uh, makeup and everything so yes i would end this video here pray that you remain in god and that you stay blessed don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell right beside it like comment share with your family and friends i mean let's let's make this channel bloom and blossom and yes thank you so much to my subscribers like this is my second video my first video was a lot like it got me emotional there are a lot of comments a lot of support and everything thank you my friends and i pray that you continue to flourish many god and stay blessed bye